So it's Monday, which means it's the Buddy Mentoring International Student Scheme. <laughs> It's currently 6am, quarter past five I got up this morning to get ready because I have to be in there at 8am this morning. What have I done? <laughs> but you know what? I've got a free t-shirt, look. Visual buddy. I had to adjust the sleeves so I've just, I've sewn up my sleeves a little bit because they were really long. It says it on the back as well. How am I going to do this? Hang on. Visual buddy. Who's excited? So first things first, I am no longer a buddy, I am a co-captain. So I put my name down to be either a captain or a co-captain and then the people that run it, they pick who they want to be the captains and co-captains. So I am now the co-captain, but I've swapped from yellow team to blue team. I think I mentioned this in my last vlog. So we've all been split into two separate teams, yellow and blue, and we're in competition with each other. So I am now on the blue team and they are fantastic so we've had all of our international students come in today we've met them all this morning i was on the welcome desk giving out the welcome bags to everybody so i was giving them all out welcoming people smiles hi welcome good morning welcome for a good couple of hours after i handed out all of the packs and everyone's been assigned to students so far i it was then my turn so I was given 20 students to sort of buddy for the morning and basically we had these packs that we had to go round with. So we took them over to one of the buildings in the IT room, got them to fill out their registration forms, any di dietary requirements or allergies, health problems, anything like that. Um, we had to get them to register online with the doctor. We had to get them to update their UK details online. We had like a bit of an icebreaker, so I introduced myself, what course I was on, and then we went around the room and they introduced themselves and what courses they were doing. And then I gave everyone the timetable of events for the week. I told them we're in a competition, so make sure they come to all the events because we need to win points for our blue team. That was obviously top priority. And we went on a big tour around the three campuses that we've got. So there's Curzon building, there is Millennium Point, and there's Parkside building, massive buildings. And can I just remind you, I've only been to these buildings like once or twice before. So for me, touring people around, I was just like, <laughs> but I winged it of course so I did have a step-by-step -step guide and it was sort of a rough okay what's on each floor in each building so I literally just went through that with them then we headed back to our main room where the, all the lunches were being served I helped hand out all of the lunches to people and then after that we had a little bit of a rest we had lunch and then at half past two so I was I don't know, I think I was just in at the wrong place at the wrong time or even the right place at the right time. I don't know which one it is yet, but I was in a place at a certain time and I was given the task of being in charge of this colour hunt that we had to do. I was the chief person for our blue team. I had to organise everyone into seven separate teams. So seven, bu seven buddies had a certain amount of students each. And then they were all given a clue each to go and find a location in the building. And then once they've gone to the location, there'll be a little ticket to bring back to me and that'll score them some points. It's I think it's to sort of get them used to the building and get used to the surroundings of the building and where things are and where to find them. So it was a really good task, I think. So there was bonus points as well. So for their bonus points, they had to do things like take a selfie with the group, they had to take a selfie with the, the BCU Tiger, had to find out some information. So they went off and did all of that. Um, so the first people that come back, I just gave them a, a bonus task to go and do. And then the next people come back, I gave them a bonus task to do. And that's how I sort of ran it. But it was chaos. It was absolutely chaos. And I've discovered that my delegating skills are absolutely appalling. I am terrible and I'm gonna write a reflection about this because it's really useful I think to reflect on, learn from and hopefully 
get more experience and grow because it's something you need as a nurse is to delegate tasks to your team. So I wasn't very good and I wasn't very comfortable with telling people what to do. I was just sort of like, okay, um, so now everybody, we just need to get into teams. And then there was a couple of people that were like, okay, let's do it this way, let's do it this way. So I was like, okay, just do what you want. Let's get the teams together, let's get it sorted. We ended up with 10 teams instead of seven. So I was like, oh, listen, just, okay, you go there, you go there, fine, sorted, we've got seven teams now. Okay, everyone sorted, good. And then towards the end, so people were rushing back all at once and I was, I was on the score sheet at the end, so people were coming to give me their tokens when they found them. And I was on the score sheet trying to score it, but then everyone was coming at once, everyone was speaking at once, I was like, okay, whoa, 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 chill out. I was getting really confused and then I missed some tokens, people forgot to give me their tokens back, so at the end when I realised, I was like, hang on, I need some tokens, I'm missing two. So we got those tokens back in the end, thank God. And then at the end of it, we had to, the last thing we had to do was once we've got all of our points and everything, we had to go into the Graduate Plus office all together. Um, I don't know if we were supposed to go in all together, but I sort of went and everyone followed. So we all went to the Graduate Plus and the Graduate Plus office was tiny, it's like, probably a quarter of this room, it's so small. And we all went into there, we all piled in, it was filled. And um, I saw one of the ladies in Grad Plus, I won't say her name because uh, confidentiality again. So the Grad Plus and I was like, yes, we're here. I've got my little flashy pen. We've won, hopefully. So everyone was there and then she was like, okay, everyone together. I'm gonna explain Graduate Plus to you. So she did a whole talk about Graduate Plus. And then I was like, let's get a photo. So I may have stood on a table and health and safety went out the window. Don't tell anybody this. I know, so I stood on this table and I was trying to get this photo. And then I, so I got up to take this photo of everyone and then everyone was cheering. I was like, oh my God, I've gone bright red because everyone's cheering because I've got up on a table to take a photo. I was so, I'm getting embarrassed thinking about it. Can you see I'm going red already? And then I was like, so everyone was about to leave and I was like, guys, let's get a video. Why aren't we getting a video for this? So then I got consent from everybody to take this video I'm about to show you. So I was like, let's all get a video. Come on, I'll put it on social media. If you are already on my social media, you've already seen this video. So I'm really sorry. I'm going to play it for you anyway. So playing it now for you. <laughs> So there was quite a lot of us in that room, as you can see, and we were all like, blue, blue, blue. It was just a massive, massive high to end the day, and it proper, it made my day. And I was just like, yes, this is amazing. Like, I've got people vlogging for me, come on. So I'm hoping they're gonna want some more videos so I can show you what we do through the week, because this is just gonna be amazing if we can get this, get this going. Oh, I just, I would love it. So that, and that was it really. So that took us to half past three when my shift ended. Didn't go and see Coco. I know I said that I was gonna um and ah about it and I was really excited for it, but you know, I'm so tired. And then my exam's next Monday as well. So I really wanna make the most of this afternoon to just revise for the exam because I don't feel like I've revised enough. So I'm gonna be doing that now after I finish this vlog. And tomorrow I'm back in at nine o'clock, nine till half four, I think, or nine till half three. I can't remember. I'm gonna have to look at the rotor to have a look at what I'm actually doing tomorrow. So that's it. So I will see you all tomorrow, bright and early, and see what tomorrow brings. Day two of the Buddy Mentoring Scheme for the international students. Are you ready for this? I'm so excited. Let's go. <laughs> So that's me finished for the day and what another amazing day. So today we sat and we did activities with everybody, played board games, Jenga, and Connect Four, bowling, things like that. It's been such a good day. And then to end the day, 
we all planned a flash mob, a surprise flash mob for their, during their, one of their talks. So whilst they were all in the lecture theatre talking, we all slowly sort of creeped in and sat by all of the students in the chairs. And then we just started Katy Perry, hot and cold, um, flash mob. And you know what? They all joined in. It was amazing. I didn't get a video because I was doing my dancing, but I pray that someone's got a video that they're gonna send me so I can post it. So it was just a really good end to the day. Um, really left the day on a high. It's been amazing. I'm absolutely knackered. Who'd have thought having so much fun tires you out? So I'm off to eat. I'm gonna have a drink and go to bed. That is my day. And tomorrow it's the barn dance. So I'll see you all tomorrow for that.